Hi, this is Professor Brown Cedarberg, and we're going to take a quick look at generating random numbers. I've outlined a simple program here, and we're going to use it to generate random numbers using a method, one method from the random class and one from the math class. So let's look at the um, generation of a random number using a method from the random class, and the method we're going to use is nextint. Now, in order to use any of the methods of the random class, we're going to have to import it. So we will import java.util.random and then in order to use the method that we now have access to because we've imported the class what we need to do is have an instance of the class random because the method that we want to use next int is non-static so let's declare and create an instance of the class random we'll call it rng for random number generator and so now we can use that instance rng to call the method that we want to use and that method is next int. And so we'd call that method this way with Now this method wants an argument passed into it and it will return back an int that's somewhere between 0 and 1 less than the argument passed in. So if I pass in 6 I'll have given back to me a number 0 through 5 inclusive. Now let's store that into the space that is RC and so we should be all set. All right, And we'll compile and into that space now RC and I, that's just random class we've got a number 0 through 5. Well, let's print that out. And as we print that out, we'll see that we have a number 0 through 5 generated. We got a 0 on that time. Run it again. This time we have a, a 0 again. Okay. Let's see what we get this time. We've got a 5. And as we run it, we'll get a different number each you know, time. But it'll always be between 0 and, and 5 inclusive. Now let's say I wanted to, to simulate the throw of a single die, a six-sided six die. Next int's going to give me back a 0 through 5 um, if I pass it 6. And there's no 0 on a six-sided die. So what I can do is I could simply add 1 to what's returned back. And now what I'll have is, stored into RC, a number that's 1 through 6 inclusive. So let's recompile this and then run it and we'll see when we run it now we'll have numbers that will go between 1 and 6 inclusive and as I keep running it we'll see there's my 6 and I run it again and I'll each time have a randomly generated number so this method next int of the class random generates an int 0 through 1 less than the number re passed into it and it's always an int right. so there's one way to generate a random number. Another is to use one of the methods of the math class and that, math, that method is random. Now the math class comes with language I don't have to import it and the method that we want to use random is a static method so I don't need an instance of the class math to call it I can just call it this way with math.random now I don't pass anything into math.random because what math.random will do is it'll give me back a double somewhere between 0 and less than 1. It always gives me a double back within that range and if I want to generate a, a double within that range it's a, the perfect method and so if I were to call math.random I could save that which is returned into the variable space mr that I created here that's of type double and so let's see what's generated. When I call this method, so we'll compile, and then each time we run this we should get a number that's 0 up to but not including 1. And you see there's our first. And always a double returned back by math.random. Now let's say I wanted to use this method to 
generate not a double within that range, but an int within a different range. Let's say I wanted to use math.random to simulate the throw of a six-sided die. Now the way I do that is this. I know that math.random will return back um, a, a double within that range. And so what I'll do is I'm going to call math.random and I know that that'll return back a double. What I'm going to do is I'm going to then multiply that by 6. I want to simulate the throw of a 6-sided die. So math.random will give me something 0 up to but not including 1. So I multiply that by 6 and I'll get a number that's 0 um, up to but not quite 6. It'll be 5 point something will be the, the largest number. So if I multiply it by 6, then I've got a number 0 through 5 with, with decimal values. What I'd like to do is then um, truncate off the decimal values, and I'm going to do that with casting. So I'll cast the number that's the result of 6 times math.random, and that will give me a number that's somewhere between 0 and 5. Now I want to simulate the throw of a 6-sided die, so what I'll do is I will add 1 to that number, and now I'll have a number that's 1 through 6. And so let's store that number into the space that I've declared above that's of type int, and I'll call that mc. And we'll put into mc what I get when I call math.random, multiply that by 6, truncate that, that is cast it into an int, and then add 1. And so let's print that to the screen and see what we get. And as we run this now, we'll see that the last number printed to the screen will always be in the range of 1 to 6, which simulates the throw of a six-sided die. And so here I got 1 again. Let's see what pops up. And here's a 2 and it'll always be within that range. Now, this simulates the throw of a six-sided die. If I wanted to simulate the throw of a 12-sided, i just simply change this number from 6 to 12, just as I would have changed this number from 6 to 12. Whatever sided die I want, I just change this number that's my, mul that's my multiplier in this case, and my argument this. Now, if I wanted to change the range in terms of what the number started at, from 1 through, I would change this, the number that I add. So if I wanted the number to start at 2, be within that range of 2 through whatever was, I'd just change this number right here, what's added. So we've looked at two methods that we can use to generate random numbers. Generate integers, generate doubles, and if we have a double, we can manipulate that into an integer itself. All right, thank you for watching.